I am Dr. Tom Shell with SecondVet.com and NouvelleResearch.com. Just wanted to make a short video for you guys here today looking at these fecal cultures and horses. Um, we did these several hundred um, pre-pandemic, uh, I suppose, um, and then we ran into some issues getting laboratory supplies with uh, COVID and whatnot, so we actually discontinued. Uh, but we're doing these cultures again. Uh, we've got research, our original research is on secondvet.com, and uh, despite that research, I have a lot of emails coming in that people are questioning what is the validity to this, what does it mean, all that kind of jazz, and I've tried to write as many articles as I can on gut health in the horse and the microbiome, uh, but sometimes it's uh, easier to just kind of show you, so let's take a look. Okay, so here we are looking at, this is uh, one of our backup plates that we use. Uh, mainly we, what we are trying to do in these fecal samples is just look at uh, lactic acid concentrations, uh, lactic acid bacteria, which is a huge group by itself. Um, it is representative, uh, based on my research and others, of the major phyla called Firmicutes. So when we see lactic acid overgrowth or a high number or high population of lactic acid bacteria in these fecal cultures, um, it generally indicates that the Firmicutes group is overrepresented, and what we're looking for ideally in a healthy horse is diversity. So when a group is overrepresentative or too high in population, um, then we know we've got a dysbiosis. It's a shift, and uh, that's been shown in research not only on the human side, but uh, going back, I believe, to the 80s in equine uh, medicine, looking uh, research at metabolic horses with laminitis. And, you know, back then they showed that uh, there was an overgrowth of a bacteria called Strep bovis in those horses, uh, which are metabolic and laminitics, and Strep bovis is in this lactic acid group of bacteria. So that's what I'm looking at in these uh, culture samples. So what are we looking at here as I'm talking? This is a normal, uh, what's called as an APT plate with a BCB or brown crescent blue. Uh, this is a backup plate uh, that we use just to look at uh, lactic acid bacterial counts. So this plate is normal. Um, so you've got a kind of a violet color throughout. Um, hopefully my light's not reflecting too much. You guys can see, uh, but it's a consistent uh, um, violet red type of color. Um, and that is normal. So I'm going to set that aside. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at a normal horse. His name is Oliver. Um, this is one of ours uh, that we have here. He is a thoroughbred uh, um, and uh, in good health. No lameness issues, no metabolic issues whatsoever. Um, and he's on alfalfa. He's on the EQ Trigut, I believe, um, and a couple other um, herbs that uh, suit his uh, well-being. Um, and he's a happy, healthy, going horse. Um, so we use him and several other thoroughbreds here as normal. So we are looking here at Oliver's, and what you can see is we've got this red-violet color still, but you've got these, these uh, colonies that are forming here, and these are yellow, um, and there's probably one, two large colonies and several, probably seven or eight little um, smaller colonies that are there. That's lactic acid bacteria that's uh, growing there on this media or this auger. And as that lactic acid bacteria grows, it ferments the sugar or the sucrose that is in the auger itself and transforms it to a yellow color. So you can kind of see the yellow color to the colonies itself. So this is a very, very low population of lactic acid bacteria. Again, these samples are diluted out 1 to 10,000. So um, we're looking at a very dilute sample from the feces. Um, and so we don't expect a whole lot. Um, except when we run into dysbiosis. But again, this is, this is what I consider to be normal, very low lactic acid bacterial count. Now, this is what we call is a, this is made by 3M. This is called a Petri film plate, and this is an aerobic plate. And when we culture this guy out, this, this red circle that is here is basically the auger that is present, I'm sorry, the uh, broth that we use. It's a red-violet color. And as we then incubate it, you can kind of see the yellow discoloration just a little bit, probably about a one o'clock and a three o'clock position, very small amount. Again, that is your lactic acid bacteria that are fermenting and transforming that red color to a yellow. Um, so predominantly normal is red. And as we culture out more and more lactic acid bacteria, this guy is going to change. Um, last plate that we do is called a coliform count. Coliform bacteria are bacteria that are normally present in the GI tract, but again, um, it uh, um, reduced our normal levels. Everything's supposed to be in balance. So what we're looking for here, it's normally red, and what we're going to see is basically pinpoint black dots that will develop as colonies, 
and scanning I'm trying to avoid the light here um, scanning on him I don't even see any growth at all that's not a bad thing that's just saying that this um, dilution with his feces um, we're not able to get anything to grow so happy healthy horse that's what we've got so let's take a couple um, samples that are here these guys are all thoroughbred. I'm sorry quarter horses heavier breeds um, this is one horse in particular this one is a Appaloosa uh, metabolic problems um, here again you can kind of see this this plate um, it is probably about 80 percent turned to yellow which means that we've got lactic acid bacteria that are fermenting um, you can see the larger colonies that are there plus the multitude of smaller colonies that are present hopefully you guys can see that with my light um, so we've got a tremendous amount of lactic acid bacterial growth here on this apt with bcp plate so that tells us we've got a high count Looking here, um, this is partially red, just a little bit, but hopefully you can kind of see that we've got a bunch of yellow that has moved in. We've got a bunch of pinpoint black dots that have developed as well. Hopefully you guys can see that. And that is your lactic acid bacteria that has developed. And finally on this horse, coliform. Again, it's supposed to be red in color and you can kind of see the black pinpoint dots. Um, I consider zero to about 10 colonies to be normal based on our research before. Um, and here you can kind of see we've probably got, I didn't count these guys up, but uh, I would guess probably uh, 50, somewhere in that range. So we've got a pretty high coliform count, which tells us that this is uh, out of balance or overrepresented in this horse. So moving on, this is a draft. Let me get that out of the way. This is a draft horse with laminitis problems. Um, and there's your APT plate. It's no longer even red. That, that red violet color is gone. You can see the multitude of colonies that have developed on here. Hopefully you can kind of see them all. All these little yellow pinpoint areas. Zoom in just a little bit. All lactic acid bacteria. So this plate is about 90% covered in lactic acid bacteria, totally transformed in color due to fermentation. Um, we're going to look at coliforms. Um, this guy I've got rated is about normal, um, which is you know not a bad thing, it's not a good thing. It's just saying the coliform count isn't really altered to an extent that I can see, um, which is okay. Um, coliforms to me, I just use as kind of a canary in a coal mine, just to kind of see what they're doing. And then here, again, we've got uh, about 90% transformed to yellow. All the black pinpoint dots that are all over this guy um, are all lactic acid bacterial colonies. So that was a draft horse with uh, laminitis issues. Um, and we're going to, I think we've got a, this is a thoroughbred that was sent in. Um, here, this is your APT plate. Um, you can see that most of it is still that, that red-violet color. Um, you can see your pinpoint areas that have developed, mainly there in the center. We have got uh, one huge colony of lactic acid bacteria. Um, but these other colonies that have developed um, are either non-sucrose fermenting lactic acid bacteria or they're just not lactic acid bacteria that could just be contaminants that have come in onto the plate. Um, so we don't have a whole lot of lactic acid bacterial growth here on this, this particular plate, um, which is good. And looking at the coliform count on this guy, see four colonies, which is, which is good. The interesting thing is, is here on our backup lactic acid bacterial plate, we've got about probably 70% of this plate is still red, uh, but we've got a tremendous amount of colony formation here. Um, now the thing about some of these cultures is, is or all of these cultures that I'm showing you here today, these guys are all, um, I'm looking at these guys 24 hours after incubation, and really they should be in the uh, incubator for a good uh, 48. Um, I'm just pulling them out now because generally at 24 hours we can get a pretty good feel of what these guys are doing. Um, so, you know, if you go back to what I showed you as normal here in the beginning, that's at 24 hours, and what I'm showing you now is at 24 hours in the abnormal horse. Um, so some of these plates, if I was to let them sit in the incubator another 24 hours, um, they would transform all the way um, if we wanted to. So here's our final culture plate. I think that this is a paint as well. 
metabolic problems. Um, you can see that 70% of this plate is transformed to a yellow color. Um, you can see all the multitude of lactic acid bacterial colonies, some very large, all over. So coliforms on this guy, probably somewhere between 100, 125, I would guess, if I counted these guys up. Abnormal, high. And here's this plate. So we got a pretty high lactic acid bacterial count on this horse as well. So I hope that kind of explains things to you guys. I and mean, it kind of shows you what I'm looking for here in our lab. Um, you know, again, just showing you comparison just for this last horse to Oliver. 24 hours, mostly red, a couple pinpoint areas of yellow. Um, and 24 hours on the abnormal horse. June. June. Hopefully you see the difference. Mainly what we're looking for here on these uh, 3M plates is uh, color change. Um, that's, that's the biggest thing. Lactic acid bacteria will just transform, you know, based on the volume of bacteria or the population, it will ferment and cause a huge um, shift in color change. So mainly what we're looking for is transformation to yellow on these plates. How much yellow is present and that kind of tells you uh, which population of lactic acid bacteria are. So I hope that helps. If you guys have questions um, or you want to look into a culture, just check out secondvet.com. Thank you.